So the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Junon demo is finally out, alongside it a brand new patch for the game that is said to fix the performance mode. But how well does it all stack up? So first of all, with the demo itself, I gotta say, I really enjoyed what I played. Aerial combat feels a lot better now. There's a whole ton of aerial tech that you can do that you just could not do before in the first game. In fact, in the first game, there really wasn't much aerial tech that you could do at all. You can maybe target an enemy in the air and then your character would do a jump, but you couldn't dodge in the air, you couldn't block in the air. These are things that you can all do now in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And honestly, it all feels great. You're also allowed to have a different set of shortcuts from when you're in the air, when you're on ground. So if you want for your aerial combat, you can just have all your aerial abilities set. So whenever you're in the air, uh, your shortcuts will only show that. You're able to, for the first time, control Red 13. He's really good at blocking, doing defensive stuff. And then once you've blocked enough attacks with him, you're able to use his vengeance mode, which is a super powerful high offensive mode. Also, you're able to freely change your party's customization and have whoever you want to in your party. This was something that you could not do in the first Final Fantasy VII Remake, as the game would pretty much always decide who you were going to be playing as. If the difference between Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Final Fantasy VII Remake can be summed up simply, freedom is 100% the key word here. And of course, this game is going to be open world. Now, we didn't get as big of a section of Junon as I was hoping. It's kind of limited to a smaller region. In that region, there's a couple of challenge fights that you can do, as well as Chatley's VR simulator. You do get the black chocobo here, but it's not able to climb the walls that it's been shown to do in the trailers. You see the markings there. Unfortunately, they disabled that in this demo. So you're very limited on what you can explore in Junon, but it allows you to basically explore the game's combat system to your heart's content. You can experiment with a ton of things and just really get a feel and practice playing the game until the final thing comes out. I know many of you are going to be playing that demo over and over and over again until you can get your hands on the final thing. I don't blame you. It's so much fun to play. You're also able to get your hands on Phoenix. If you do the combat simulator, you get Ramu by default. And so you have at least two summons that you're able to play with. They also give you quite a decent amount of materia as well. So you're able to just play around with your materia setup, really get a feel for these characters. The characters themselves already have a fixed materia setup. And of course, if you're a real FF7 fan, you're going to immediately want to tinker with everyone's materia setup and min max uh, setup for each fight. The demo then ends with a boss fight from Bottoms Well, and it can be a pretty challenging fight, so they might want to call him Tops Well. That being said, equipping lightning materia, shocking him, using Ramu, or Rama, some of y'all pronounce it both ways, and just straight blasting him is great. He's also, again, a great boss fight to really experiment with aerial tech and using Cloud's Firebolt. The Firebolt is like this cool ability that basically makes Cloud leap up into the air and he does like a two hit combo. The first hit is with lightning magic and then the second hit is with fire magic and it's really cool. So you're going to have these elemental abilities in the game that aren't necessarily just your materia loadout. Now, while exploring the world, you have fighting all of the enemies in an area as well as doing the challenge fights and presumably other things within the final game that will allow you to get more intel from Chatley. Now, if you recall in Final Fantasy VII Remake, you had to use assess on all the enemies and do these like little battle challenges in order to do his intel. The good news here is that you no longer have to go and meticulously use assess on every single enemy. It is all done organically through competing battle challenges and discovering new things throughout the world. And this is a much more fun way to do this. Of course, as you unlock these things, you'll be able to develop new and interesting materia. It seems that this is going to be the way that you get the absolute best materia in the game. This, of course, encourages players to explore more, where, of course, course, throughout exploring, you'll probably find even more interesting materia. It's a really good formula. Of course, with exploration, I wish we got to do more of that in this demo, because I think the world is the big selling point of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. You know, in Final Fantasy VII Remake, exploration wasn't really a thing that you got to do. It was run down the hallway, go to the next hallway, to the next hallway. I know, some of you really like linear 
games. I don't hate linear games either, just to be clear, but I do like for my RPGs to have a bit more exploration on them. And that's one thing that I feel like Final Fantasy hasn't done tremendously well in a very long time is exploration. Being able to go off the beaten path, see things, do things that the game really didn't just spell out for you. Not being confined to two walls in a hallway, but actually being able to go out and explore open environments. And although this demo only gives us the smallest taste of that, it does feel good to be back in a open environment, being able to see and do many things. This demo is incredibly promising on that front. Now let's talk about the performance mode versus the graphics mode and the issues that the performance mode had previously. This is a big sticking point of the demo for a lot of people is that they wanted to see how this stacks up. So there is good news and there is bad news here. The good news is is that performance mode is much better in terms of image clarity. The bad news is, is that I would still personally say that it's not perfect and it is still a bit blurry. It is not a very crisp 1440p image, which I think what's more surprising to me is, and I didn't really know this at first, but quality mode is actually native 4K apparently. And it's a very solid 30 frames per second. So I think this is kind of interesting too, that the performance mode, which is supposed to be running at 1440p 60, it still doesn't quite look like 1440p 60 to me. Now here is the catch. I think that if you are on a 1080p screen, you don't have a true native 4K screen, then you should go ahead and play this on performance mode. Go ahead and get your 60 frames per second. The blurriness will probably not affect you as badly as someone who's on a 1440p and especially a 4K screen. That being said, if you are on a recent monitor with a higher resolution, then I still personally would probably recommend doing quality mode, at least on your first playthroughs so that you can absorb these beautiful 4K visuals. The game is absolutely gorgeous, and when I played it here, we did performance mode, but when you see it on quality, it's a noticeable, noticeable difference, and it just looks so good. Visually speaking, this is probably the best looking Square Enix game ever made. I mean, whenever they do zoom ups on the hair and the face, it looks like those visual work scenes that we used to love so much. You know, whenever I think back on like Final Fantasy X, I always thought, wouldn't it be incredible if we could play a full game that actually looked like that? And now we can, and that's what it feels like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is. So all in all, my experience with the demo was phenomenal. Both the Nibelheim section and this section in Junon have been really stunning. I'm thinking that this really is, from a gameplay perspective, the best Final Fantasy game they've ever made. I might be speaking preemptively, and I might have done that before too, but I just don't see any reason to doubt the team here. I think that Remake's combat system was really solid, but a lot of the supporting systems like the side quest and the world design and some of the padding were kind of the things that held it back. And now that they've worked on and improved those things surrounding it and improved the best part, which is the combat, I can really only see this game being one of the stronger FF titles that they've ever put out. All of which is to say that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has my faith at the moment and it is looking absolutely stellar. But these are my thoughts on the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo. And leave a comment below letting me know if you're going to be playing this game in graphics mode or performance mode. And I will see you all in the next video.